everyone welcome back to another video on my channel i noticed um a few days ago that i got that subscription box from the gel box uk and totally forgot to do a design with the colors like i said i was going to so i've grabbed them real quick here they are these are the colors that came in june's box the unboxing of this is already on my channel so if you want to see like everything you get in the box and definitely check that out because july box is coming out very soon and I will have a video coming of that when I receive it um the what's it called uh the discount code in my oh my god I can't speak today in my description box was slightly wrong I have changed it now in like on all of the description boxes of my videos that it was in so the one that is down below is definitely correct now but if you ever have any problems or can't find it or anything um, the discount code is also in my bio on Instagram. So anyway, enough chewing your ear off. I'm going to get into it. So first of all, I'm just going to clean off my palette for a start. Make sure it's nice and clean, ready to use. So I'm going to be using these three and also a little bit of black. But I don't have a black from this brand. So I'm just going to be using my normal Gel Perfection Black. Obviously black is black no matter where you get it from. Um... And then I'm going to be using the three colours that I got in the in the box because I always find that doing nail art with gel polishes is always like the best way to see how good their coverage is. But if you remember the swatches that I did, you'll know that the coverage is really good anyway. But I feel like doing detail work is always, not detail work, but like just doing nail art in general is always a good way to start. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit like um, animal print inspired. So, first things first, I'm just going to get my brush. I'm using the Bossit brush from Erin's collection. Just cleaning it off from the last design that I did. And then I'm going to get my... Let me just clean it off again. I'm going to get the pink, first of all. And I'm going to go ahead and create a shape with it. So I'm going to do it here. And then I'm going to go across here. I love this shade of pink. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's zoom in a bit and get it in focus. That would be useful. So I'm just applying that exactly like in the shape that I want it first of all. Bring it over a bit further actually. Get a bigger, bigger amount of it. And then a tiny bit higher up as well. So I'm just creating random areas with this first of all. And as you can see, just from this little bit that I've already done, the coverage is brilliant. So I'm just filling in that gap. Obviously it would be quicker to use the brush from the bottle, but I'm being lazy mad really that you do things to be lazy that actually take longer than the version of not being lazy <laughs> if I just pick up the other the bottle brush it would be much quicker but anyway I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure now I am curing for two minutes in my LED because these are recommended to be cured in a UV lamp um so I'm using an LED and I asked the brand about curing times for LED and they said to double cure so that is what I'm doing so in the meantime while I'm waiting obviously I'm just going to move on to the next nail I'm creating the same sort of shape but just in a different part of the nail on this one so it's going to be similar but not exactly the same I'm just mixing it up a little bit in fact I am going to change this one. I've changed my mind. I'm going to do the blue instead of the pink for this one just to completely mix it up so it's not too similar. So I'm just going to wipe off my brush. I'm just going to click my lamp back on because it's got a 60 second curing timer. And then I'm going to do the same thing but in blue instead. I don't know what it is with me today but drawing straight lines just isn't isn't going well for me um i'm just not having a very good good drawing straight lines type of day but it's fine just means i have to spend a little bit more time getting it right that's definitely not how i wanted it uh yeah that's about it 
I'm going to get it more to a point in that corner. And then I'm just going to fill this in off camera really quick so you're not bored to death. Now, so far, so good with these two nails because the colours that I've used so far don't require me um, to, what's it, um, do a second coat. They're perfect coverage, so that's obviously a tick in my book. So on this one, I'm now going to use my blue. I'm going to try and get this little... I don't know what that is, but I can't bother to file it, so it's going to have to stay. But I'm going to get my blue and I'm going to create another shape. So I'm going to bring this one up here. So I'm making this one slightly smaller this time because obviously the blue is the prominent colour on the other nail. So I'm having the pink as the larger area on this one. And I'm saving the yellow for the gap that we leave basically because it's the yellow that I'm going to do a design on. So I'm saving that. Now you could always paint the yellow because the, the majority of the nail is going to be yellow. You could always paint it full yellow first and then like paint these two sections on top um but i don't want the yellow underneath to slightly change the color of this one on the top so that's why i am leaving it as it is and then obviously we're going in with the pink for this nail just a smaller section now you can do these areas like at the same time you don't have to put them in the lamp between the colours because obviously they're not overlapping. I'm just putting them in the lamp so I can move on to the next nail. Um, and then I do find it easier because then if I was to mess up this one, obviously I could literally just remove this bit without having to worry about causing myself any problems smudging the blue bit and then the pink on the other, the other nail. So it's just a bit easier to, it's like a safer option to cure as you go along. And then once I've done that, I'm going to pop that one into the lamp. So I'm going to get the other nail now. And like I said, I'm going to fill in the gap, basically. Any bit that doesn't have any polish on now is going to be filled in with this yellow colour. So I'm just going to, first of all, before I do anything, I'm outlining the sections that have already got some colour on them. Just to make sure that I get those areas neat. And then it'll be much easier and quicker to fill in the gap when I don't have to be really careful around the other colours. And then obviously at this point, because we've already fully cured those other two colours, if I do mess up and get a bit of this colour on the pink or on the blue where I don't want it, it's easy enough to just get an, an, like a, a clean up brush and just wipe it straight off before we go ahead and cure. Bring this yellow down slightly because I didn't bring that pink to a very good point as you can see so I'm literally just fixing that with the yellow itself and there we go and then all I need to do then is just fill in the gap I also need a bit more yellow on my palette I'm calling it yellow it's not really yellow it's more of a, a mustard color it looks more yellow on camera to be honest than it is it's not as yellow as the camera is making it out it is definitely more of like a, a mustard color Um, just to make you aware in case you're expecting it to be really yellow and then it's mustard. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill in this gap and then we can do the, the nail. So we're back, this is fully cured now. I'm gonna use a dotter, well, this is actually the other end of a, um, what's it called? You know these picker-upper tools? It's a double-ended one, I'm just using this side to do this design. So this nail, we're gonna do some, um, what's it called? 
Oh my god, my mind's gone blank. What's it called? You're probably shouting at the screen. Leopard print. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. We need some leopard print on this nail and then a different animal print on the other one. Just to mix it up a little bit so it's a bit different. Um, and I'm just using this really tiny end because I don't want any like really big thick dots on here. I want to keep it nice and thin. And we're just, I'm not doing like any colour in the middle of the black pieces or anything. I'm literally just going to be using the black to create the, create the outline of the of the print and that's what I'm doing. I like to call them like little kidney beans because that's what they remind me of. Um, and then at the end I will add a few dots as well. And any little gaps that I leave. I'm packing it on with a lot of little bits of leopard print. I want it to be really like lots and lots of little bits. Obviously you can do like bigger print. Um, you can definitely just change it to however you want it to be. But I just find leopard print like one of the absolute easiest things to do. It's super, super simple. So it's definitely a beginner friendly design. Not the excess off that one there because it's got quite a lot of product on it. And we're just continuing that all the way around to the bottom. These gel polishes are also tack free, which is really nice to work on because you don't have that inhibition layer making your design slippery, which is good. Then I'm just going to go in with it as a dot this time and just pop some dots in any gaps that I've got just to make it look really packed. Like so. And once I'm happy, which I am, I'm gonna pop that into the lamp for a full cure. And on this one, we're gonna do a zebra print instead, just to mix it up a little bit. So I've got my brush ready, nice and clean. Well, I said that I didn't, but I have now. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be using a really thin brush. So I'm using the Striper from Magpie Beauty. You can literally just about see it. It's that thin. This is what I'm using. And I'm going to use that to create my zebra. So I'm going in with a line starting from over here. And then just like a bit of a squiggle. And then I'm starting from this side. Making it quite thick to start with. And then thinning it out. And I'm going to do that all the way down, giving it a little wiggle at the end to make it a bit random. So make that like a double one. So just need a really small amount of product on my brush for that. going to continue to do this all the way down so I'm not going to film the whole process because it's going to get pretty boring because it's very very repetitive um, but I'll come back when this is done so for this bit in the middle where there's a larger area I'm then just going to create a little bit different and we'll do like one in the middle and take that down both both ways Leave a little bit of a gap for me to be able to get one either side in as well. And that's just a, a way of just breaking it up a little bit. And then obviously when I get back down to this area, it's just that little tiny bit there. So it's not really going to fit that much in this bit. So I'm not worried too much about what this bit looks like to be honest. Just getting some black lines, that's all we need. And that can go in the lamp for a full cure. So while that one's in, we're gonna we're gonna finish off this one. 
So I absolutely love glitter, so I feel like glitter just finishes everything off. So we're gonna add a little bit of gold glitter because I feel like gold will go really well with this. So I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna be using the exact same Real Bird Glamour Gel as I always seem to use when I need a gold. Um, but it just goes, it goes so well. It's a nice neutral gold instead of really yellowy, so that's good. And we're just gonna use this to outline the coloured patches so i'm just going to take that down those lines like so and i kind of like these gels because you don't really get like a really neat perfect line because they're more like flaky bits than actual glitter so you don't have that much control over them which is obviously a good thing and a bad thing if you don't want much control like this sort of design then that is fab but if you do then obviously I'd use something different to be fair. So that's that one. Just gives a little bit of something extra. And then I'm just going to do the blue. Like so. And then I'll pop that one into the lamp while I do the same with the other one. It's a bit much on there. I've got quite a lot on my brush. I'm just touching my nail really, really lightly so I don't let all of that product drop on the same area. I can spread it a bit more. And then again, the same on this blue bit. I just think a glitter outline really just can make a design so much better. It just pulls it all together, gives it a something extra. And it just all comes together nicely. Perfect. I'm going to pop that one into the lamp as well. And then when they're both fully cured, I will top coat them both and then show you at the end what they came out like. So here is the finished design. I love how they turned out. I think the colours go together really well, to be fair, and I would never think to put these colours together. So the box is brilliant for that sort of thing as well, but definitely worth it um, to get some surprise goodies in the post every month. So obviously use my discount code if you do want to use this service um, for a different box every time, because it is very exciting. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye!